the narcissist doesn't want you to move on. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to progress. They don't want you to find someone else. Regardless of everything the narcissist has said and done to you, the last thing they want to see is you trying to move on. They are not concerned about how their words or actions have affected you, as they are too preoccupied with their own needs or self-interest. They do not have the capacity to consider you or what might be in your best interest, as they are only focused on what's best for them. Leeching of an unsuspecting victim is how they survive. They will notice when you don't spend as much time with them. They will notice when you don't open up to them as you once did. And while they may come to you and act as though they are concerned, they don't really care about you. Narcissists are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They lack the ability to share your experience. They lack the ability to understand or feel what you are going through. And the reason for this is so that they can focus on their own survival. They can focus on fulfilling their own needs or self-interest, regardless of how it affects you. If you move on, it might be in your best interest, it might improve your health and your life. But it will leave them with no one to feed off. It will leave them have to fend for themselves. It will leave them having to look after and provide for themselves without any help from you. And that's just something a narcissist cannot do. A narcissist cannot survive for long without a constant source of supply. Their primary source of supply provides them with stability and security. It makes up for the lack of stability and security they have within themselves. They need attention and admiration. They need constant emotional support. And that is not something that they can provide to themselves. They cannot attend to themselves. They cannot regulate their own emotions. Narcissists are like emotionally immature toddlers. They need a caretaker. They need someone to constantly attend to them. So when you are trying to move on and live a healthier life, that is a serious threat to them. It will feel like a life or death situation to the narcissist. Because without you, 
how are they supposed to survive? How are they supposed to sustain themselves? And that is why when you do try to move on you will see them acting in a certain way or making the kinds of choices that one might make when they are in a life or death situation. They might shout and scream. They might throw things at you. They might physically try to stop you from leaving. They might accuse you of doing something to them and then threaten to call the police. They might enforce fly monkeys and start a smear campaign. They will do whatever it takes to stop you from leaving. Because to them, it really feels like it is a life or death situation. Their primary source of supply is meant to be their life support. You are meant to attend to them and regulate their emotions. You are meant to keep them alive. And if you are not around to do that, it means that they could die. That's what is going on in their minds when they realize that you are trying to move on from them. In their minds, what you're doing is sick and wrong. It's like you're trying to destroy them. Because they feel entitled to your time and energy. It doesn't matter about how it affects you. It doesn't matter about what you're going through. All that matters is keeping them alive. Even if you get destroyed in the process, which is usually what will happen if you stay around them long enough. And that is why it is so important to get out of these situations. It is so important to move on. Because the person you're dealing with has clearly demonstrated that they only care about themselves. They have clearly demonstrated that they do not have your best interest in mind. So now, this is about your survival. Because you have someone who is going to end up destroying you, whether they intend to or not. And while you may be afraid to move on from them, it is something that you're going to have to do. Because it's either that, or your entire life falls apart. You lose everything. And you know that when that happens, they're not going to be there to support you. They're not going to hold themselves accountable for what they have done to you. And when you are in these types of situations, you have to take responsibility too. You have to accept that you have made the decision to remain in this situation. You have enabled their abuse. You have made it possible for them to do this to you. So it is very important that you take responsibility for this. And then respond to the best of your ability. Remove yourself from the situation because no one is coming to save you and you can't just wait around for things to improve. 
Look at how many months or years you have waited to see some change. How much has changed since then? Are you willing to stick around for that amount of time again just to see the same amount of change? You could be there for another few years and before you know it, your life has passed you by and you will be wishing you could go back. You will be wishing you had left back then. This is the case for many people. If there's one regret that people have in these relationships, it's not even sooner. It all starts with realizing that you deserve better. Give yourself the love and respect that you deserve. And then you will realize that it is that love and respect that you should expect from other people. When you are around someone who doesn't respect you, you are disrespecting yourself. And it is that lack of respect for yourself that keeps you stuck in these situations. So start loving yourself. Start respecting yourself. Then everything this person is saying and doing will no longer resonate with you. And you will just want to move on and build a healthier, happier life for yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.